In this video, I'll be showing you three amazing tools that allow you to run large language models on your own machine. Tool number one that I have on my list is called Olama. Olama is very straightforward to install and it gives you a REST API that you can use to build applications on top of. Olama is very developer friendly, but it is very easy to install as well. All you have to do is go to olama.com, click on this download button, select whichever OS you are on and then just download it. Once you have downloaded and installed Olama, the next step you want to do is go to models Pick the model that you want to run. For this video, I want to run DeepSea Car 1. Once you are on this model page, it will give you a bunch of options that it comes with. You can either run this model with 1.5 billion parameters and it goes all the way up to 671 billion parameters. Because we are running it locally, we will stick to 1.5 billion or max you can go to either 7 or 8 billion as well. But for me, I will just do 1.5 billion. Once you have selected which model and which model version you want to run, scroll down and use this command. I will paste this command in my terminal. I will change the model version from 671 billion to 1.5. Now I've already installed DeepSeek R1 on my computer. That's why it started immediately. But if you are doing it for the first time, Olama will download bunch of files that are required to run this model locally. So it might take few seconds or minutes for you. Now I will enter my prompt by sky blue and hit enter. And it'll give you a pretty detailed answer depending on your prompt. This is how easy it is to run models using Olama locally. Olama does not give you a really pretty UI, but it gives you interface right in the terminal and it also gives you a REST API that you can use to build applications. So Olama is highly recommended for developers who want to build applications on top of LLMs. Tool number two I have on my list is called LM Studio. LM Studio is very similar to Olama, but it comes with its own UI that you can use to interact with the models. In order to download and install LM Studio or all you have to do is go to lmstudio.ai and then click on this download LM Studio button. Once you have downloaded and installed LM Studio, open it up and the UI will look like this. In the search bar, you can search for the models that you want to install on your computer. So I will search for DeepSeek. Once you have searched, you will select the one that is most downloaded. If you have not selected that filter, you can select that filter from here. Click on that and it will give you a bunch of options to pick from. If you want me to create a detailed video on different types of model versions, let me know in the comments below. But for our sake, you can download the first one on the list. I've already downloaded it, so I'll just go ahead and show you how you can play around with that model. The next thing you want to do is click on this chat bubble and from this drop down you can select which model you want to use because i have installed only one model on my computer that's why it's showing one but you can have multiple model installed on your computer and you can switch between those so for me i will select this model and then i can start asking questions to this model why is sky blue and similar to chat gpt it'll process your prompt and give you the answer based on your prompt there are a bunch of other options available here. You can click on this folder icon and it'll give you all the models that you have installed on your computer. Moreover, you can click on this double arrow icon and you can start your own server. This will allow you to run a server and that you can build applications using LM Studio as well. So that's pretty much it for LM Studio. Let's move on to the next tool. Tool number three I have on my list is called Misty. Misty is very similar to LM Studio, but the user interface that it provides is way more useful than that of LM Studio. It also gives you the option to download and install multiple models and then switch between those models. In order to install Misty, you have to go to msty.app and then click on this download misty button once you have downloaded and installed it you will open it up and this is what the ui looks like as you can already see this is 
way better UI than LM Studio and it's very much similar to what you see on chatgpt.com. I've already installed DeepSeek but I'll show you how to install other models. So you can click on this icon right here and then you can click on browse and download models offline. Once you click on it, you will see you have all these models available. Click on DeepSeek R1 and then you can select what version of the model you want to install. I've already installed 1.5 billion parameters model. So I'll close this up. If you have downloaded in multiple models, you can switch between those models using these dropdown. But I only have one model on my computer. So I'll select that and then I can chat with that model pretty easily. As you can already see, this is much faster than LM Studio and it gives you a really good UI. Now that is pretty much it. I have covered all three tools that you can use to run models locally. For me, I prefer using Olama because it gives you a really powerful REST API to build applications on top of that. But other two tools are great as well. If you want me to create another video digging deeper into each one of these tools, let me know in the comments below and I will be very happy to do so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.